I am so ready to step back on board a Disney cruise, but today we've got a lot of updates with new ships and some new policies that we're starting to see hints of coming soon from the Disney Cruise Line. Let's start off first with the new ship. For several years, we've been waiting and waiting and wondering what the inside of the new Disney Cruise ships will look like. Several years ago, we heard the announcement of three new ships coming to the Disney Cruise Line fleet. We learned about the Wish. We were super excited about the Wish. We found out that Rapunzel will be on the back, but now we've got an exclusive inside look of what the lobby atrium will look like inside the Wish. Disney released a special ad spot just to preview this very special lobby. And let's kind of unpack it together. There's a lot to see here. First and foremost, let's talk about the name, the Disney Wish. A wish is a dream your heart makes. You recall the song and then you see Cinderella. We should have known, we should have known early on that's what they were going for. They surprised us, they really did. If we look inside the lobby of the original photo that we saw of the Disney Wish, we saw really nice architecture throughout, but now we see a lot more detail with Cinderella right there in the center. It's more than just Cinderella that's been revealed, however. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this image that we see once we see the wider view. Just for a second, I'm gonna pause it right there. Right behind Cinderella, you can see some kind of, I'm gonna call them small boxes, right? There's something back there. And on the right-hand side, closer to Cinderella, there's someone holding, maybe looks like an oar. To me, that is Moana. Around Moana, especially to the left-hand side, I think I see Hey Hey right there. So I think there's gonna be like some section in there for different Disney things. Whether it's a princess or a movie or a throwback, I have a feeling we're gonna see maybe some sculptures here, perhaps an art gallery. Something very special is coming behind Cinderella. Now, if you've been on board the Disney Cruise before, you may say to yourself, Michael, this is totally different because usually there'd be a restaurant entrance right there. Don't worry, there still may be a restaurant entrance there. You see that doorway? We're not sure what that is to. So let's pretend for a moment that it is a restaurant entrance. Instead of being an art gallery, maybe this is a new way of getting to another restaurant. Perhaps this is an entryway to a whole different style of restaurant we've never seen on board before. Either way, super excited. Like some of the other Disney Cruise ships, you can see the two little couches kind of the left hand side there those are very similar i recall sitting on those couches especially early in the morning one morning when i couldn't sleep i recall that but they're very very nice the grand stairway takes you from that lower level up to deck i'm going to just pretend and say deck four and then from there up to deck five let's just pretend that's what it is or one two and three whatever you like but you can see it actually takes you up two levels it's a circular stairway unlike what we've seen on other disney cruise ships you can see there's touches to cinderella throughout even on that second, I'm going to call it second level for now. I'm switching back to one, two, and three. That second level, you can see kind of a portrait of Cinderella to the right-hand side. There's a desk there. I would imagine that's for shutters, but we don't know. There's definitely a lot that we're not being told about this photo. It, it kind of keeps us, you know, in suspense. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. To the left-hand side, you see there's another set of balconies there. W what's that for? It doesn't appear from these photos to be repeated on the right. So maybe this is a different dining venue, like maybe one of those small bakery bar style spots, or maybe this is where all the characters will wave at you as you make your way in. I'd imagine the entrance to get on board is probably underneath of this little kind of balcony area, but we're not sure. There's still plenty we don't know about this new ship, but I gotta tell you, I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled to see this commercial. Biggest reason was the ending. Summer 2022 is when it launches. From wherever it goes, I don't care at all. I'm just looking forward to getting back on a Disney Cruise ship, and I am delighted, so, so happy they built the ships. I was worried, I'll be honest with you. I was worried. I was like, are they gonna build it? Maybe we don't know. And we still don't know about the other two. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful. But this is going to happen summer 2022 at the time of filming. Super excited. Now with this excitement about the Disney Wish, let's not forget about an ad we just saw for Disney Cruise Line. Disney has been working on these ads to make them perfect for upcoming cruises. And they featured something that some of us thought would be there, others didn't. They feature masks. There's been a lot of speculation and rumors about when we're going to set sail. Will it be kind of during a mask time? Looks like from what Disney's showing us here, it will be. Let's run through the commercial. I'm gonna give you a few of my thoughts. That first scene takes us sailing away and then we see a little girl wearing a mask, immediately showing us that masks will be worn on board. But wait a moment, there is more to the commercial. Sitting outside watching the views, but you can see once you're on the aqueduct, right away the mask comes Comes off. So clearly, Disney's already showing us that there is a difference between mask on time 
and mask off time on board. Then we see some of our favorite characters, whether it's Captain Minnie or Tiana, and I gotta tell you, I love me the characters, you know I do. But the difference here is that we're seeing them kind of at a distance. See, see the, the camera's a little bit more distant from us. We're not seeing, you know, everybody going up to give the characters a hug. We're seeing them at a distance. I believe this is kind of an indication that we'll be able to see characters on board. We will, but we likely will not be able to have the same style interactions for now, temporary, for now, and then eventually we'll get back to the standard interactions. That's my guess, that's my prediction from this video. We don't know, but we'll find out more in the future. Then we transition to Castaway Key, Disney's private island. You can see the family right out there do not have their masks on. So, goes to show there is a difference. Maybe water time, think of it that way. Time in the water, time enjoying something to do with water, masks would be off. The same goes for dining as well. As we've seen around Walt Disney World, when you're sitting down, you're by yourself, you are dining, it means that you can have your mask off. So same rules potentially would apply. And there's another great water scene right there. It already looks like fun. I'm already missing it, I'm telling you. But no masks are on. Very similar to going to your resort pool as an example. So when you step on the, the, the deck of the pool, you can take your mask off. But when you leave the pool deck, you have to have it back on. I would imagine that we're gonna see something extremely similar on board. The commercial ends with a family looking out at the sunset, and then you see kind of a, a sideways shot of a little girl wearing a mask. So again, they are reiterating that masks are going to be on board. It's going to happen. But think of it in terms of what we already have at Walt Disney World. When you are stationary eating or drinking, or at the pool doing some pool activity, masks can be off. Otherwise, masks would have to be on. That's my guess, we don't have confirmation but I think it's a logical one. Disney didn't give us any dates for when they will be sailing, but I am extremely hopeful after seeing this commercial, it's actually gonna be sooner than we think. It's going to be very, very soon. My guess at the time of filming is March 2021. That's when they are scheduled to start again, but you know, that take that with a gigantic grain of salt simply because we don't know what the future holds. Now there's no doubt that when we step back on board the Disney Cruise Line, whether it's March 2021 or shortly thereafter, hopefully not too shortly thereafter, we'll see together. But once we step back on board, it is going to be a different experience, at least for now. I think it's important for us all to remember that these are indeed unique times. So I believe that when we step back on board the Disney Cruise Line, which I really hope is soon, March 2021 or very close to it, I believe it's going to be different and a unique experience. It's not gonna be what we're used to on board the Disney cruise line. When I think about that, I'm talking about character meet and greets. I'm talking about pin trading. I'm talking about shows. We're not sure about those shows. Buffet dining, right? Those kind of things are going to be very different when we step back on board. Let's talk about those shows for a minute. I do believe that we could see those shows. I think we could. However, it really depends on the cast. Can they be close together? Because we've seen at Disney, Disney's very good at kind of separating guests, especially in very large uh, theaters like that. However, this may be a little bit different simply because the cast would be close together. I don't know if Disney's able to work around that. I, I would imagine they can. So my guess is they can. Maybe we won't be seeing the shows as frequently and maybe it will just be like one show shown throughout the cruise so that everyone has an opportunity to go and see it since the theater will not be totally filled. That's one prediction. Maybe we won't have shows at all at first. We don't know, but being back on board again is what I'm just looking forward to. Buffet dining I think is definitely out. I think we're gonna see something similar to what we've seen with the uh, drink stands at Walt Disney World where someone will grab whatever you'd like, food, drink, whatever it is, and then kind of move across the table, hand it to you from a table. I think that's how it will be, at least for a while. The other alternative is that uh, different crew members will come around and bring you food to your table at Cabanas, as an example. Don't think it'll be that way, but don't know. Also, they're gonna have to extend all these hours because usually guests have you know a couple hours to eat breakfast, everybody can get through there. Sometimes the tables are kind of full. They're gonna be separating out the tables, don't forget, things like that. They're gonna need a little bit more time for all the meals. Speaking of meals, what about dinner? That's a big question because usually they seat all the guests at once. The way they solve all the problems I mentioned earlier at once is by limiting the capacity on board. That I think is extremely likely. Limiting the capacity doesn't mean limiting the number of sailings, it just means the number of people on board. So maybe this is just random number, 50% maybe 30%, maybe 70% full. I would imagine lower end of that, that's that's me, I just it's a guess, it's a total guess, but they can solve a lot of problems at once by limiting the capacity. Now let's think about the excursions for a moment. Castaway Key, no doubt that's on the itinerary, we saw it in the commercial, that's gonna happen. I have a feeling though that some countries will say yes to cruises coming in, others will say no. It's just gonna depend on the country and how they feel at that time. I believe that once they say yes, however, there will be some pretty strict guidelines for where the guests can 
can go and maybe some procedures they have to go through before they get off and probably get back on. Last but not least, I want to touch on one final thing, stepping on board. I believe that there is a chance you will need to be tested before you get on board the ship. That's a possibility. I think that that's actually a very likely possibility. There is also rumors going around that you will have to prove that you had the vaccination prior to getting on board. I don't think that's as likely, personally. Uh, I don't know, we, there's no way for us to know. I think that testing is more than likely. The vaccination confirmation, I doubt that. I cannot wait to get back on board Disney Cruise. Let me know in the comments below when you think the cruises will start again. Do you think it's March 2021 or maybe a little bit later? And what do you think about those crowds? Do you think it'll be maybe 50% capacity? 30% capacity. Love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.